pole and the feel of a muddy road between my toes. Home was a back porch swing where I would sit and my. So this was another spot I selectively cut. I cut most of everything in here, but there are some oak trees that I left. Like here's a red oak here, and there's another red oak. I think that, yeah, it's a red oak over there. Um, another oak tree. But uh, there's tons of hickory trees in here. But I also planted some chestnut trees here. There's some pear trees over there. And the pears didn't take, the one that I planted did, the, uh, the other five did not. So I'm just going to come in here and spray a little bit. And they, so far they've, they've all looked good in this spot. I wanted to stop and show you this. This is a, kind of an alleyway that I planted. Persimmons and chestnuts. And this one in particular, this is the first tube that a chestnut tree has already grown out of. I mean, that's pretty remarkable to me. These were at the tallest three and a half feet or so when we planted them. And these tubes are five feet tubes. So for them to grow out, I mean, that's pretty quick in two months time. Uh, plus we had a late winter, so uh, that's pretty remarkable if you ask me. And I'm looking at some of these other ones, and that one's real close to growing out straight across. And I see some leaves and, and some of the other ones. The other ones I'm not real sure yet, but I think, I've checked these once already, earlier. I think we've got a good stand in here. Maybe one died uh, at the end, Persim or uh, chestnut. I'm sorry, persimmon, but um, overall, I'm really happy with this spot here. So here's a spot we planted. I believe there's 24 both chestnut and persimmon are in total. And we have 100% survival rate in this spot here. So that's always encouraging. I just went through and pulled some of the weeds that were in the tubes and then sprayed around the weed mats, reduced competition. And these ones should be good to go. So this is a spot here we planted a whole bunch of persimmons and chestnuts. I don't know how many are here, but <clears throat> every one of these survived. You can see them way off in the distance, I hope. And then there's also some down there, and a few over here, and then a couple over here. So it's encouraging that all these survive. So, so we're winding down here, and this is a spot we put persimmons down here. And then off to the right here, we put chestnut trees. I think four, four to five, six, something like that. Anyways, all of them have survived to this point. So I've got one more spot to check, and then we'll call quits. So this is the last spot here. We planted some chestnut trees over on this side. And one, two, three, I think there's four. Actually, yeah, there's four. There's one hidden hidden down here. Um, and then on this side, we planted persimmon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all those have survived. And then up on the hill, up that way, there are a handful of chestnut trees. So that wraps it up. Um, I think there's a 100% survival rate with chestnut trees. Uh, I would say on, on the farm without cattle, there's a 90 to 100% survival rate uh, over here. I can't remember if there was one, one that we lost, maybe. Um, the big downfall has been the pear trees. There's only one that survived. Those were all from tractor supply. I, I don't think it was a good batch, apparently. But, you know, we'll try again next year maybe with those. So, so far, it's pretty uh, encouraging. Things look good. I'm a little bit concerned about where the cattle are. There were several lost over there. Weed mats all torn up on pretty much all of them. 
as well as some of the tubes. But yeah, that's, that's to be expected, and we'll we'll see how uh, how it turns out in the end. But right now, overall, it's been pretty good. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, tap that bell button for notifications of future videos. Thanks.